Greetings and welcome back to 50 Shades of Beige. As you can see down here, we have the test bench back up and running. That's because we're doing a follow-up video on the 1080 Pro SSD. For those of you that might have missed that, be sure to hit the link down in the comments and watch that video first because you'll need it for context for this one. Also, just a side note, uh, I did have invasive surgery done on both of my eyes last Tuesday. So my editing and filming will not be as good. In fact, I feel pretty miserable right now. I just wanted to take a few minutes to get this video out while the 1080 Pro video is still relevant. And then I'm gonna be taking a little bit of time off to go ahead and recover because right now I can really only stare at a screen for about five minutes before my eyes get very tired. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about that last video. So in the comments of the video and on Twitter, a common thread was that the 1080 Pro is not a scam because it doesn't say Samsung. And this is despite the fact that the design on the 1080 Pro sticker and in the marketing all mimics uh, Samsung's stuff, right? Now, let me ask you a question here. Now, if I were to make a GPU and put it in this box and call it the 1080 GTX, right? But I take all the EVGA and NVIDIA branding off of it, I just call it the 1080 GTX. Would you consider that ethical? I wouldn't. Now we can argue about the legality of the situation until the cows come home. I'm aware of the Cyrix Intel 486 situation where Intel wasn't allowed to uh, copyright the word 486 because it's just a number and the same situation probably applies to the 1080 Pro. In fact, if it did go to court, I reckon they would use that as some sort of precedent, right? However, it's pretty sleazy for them to make this product Call it the 1080 Pro when at the time the 980 Pro was the top offering from Samsung and an especially popular SSD to boot. And use the same designs and so on and so forth and then put these SSDs up for sale. So I don't trust whoever did this and I don't think you should either. And we can argue about legality another time. But at the end of the day, it still ain't right. 6 a.m. and already the boy ain't right. The second thing that came up is I got a couple of requests to go ahead and run a full H2 test W test on this SSD. For those of you who aren't familiar with the scam SSD space on Amazon, AliExpress, and eBay, a lot of times what these manufacturers will do is they will put a two terabyte drive up for sale or they'll call it two terabytes and they'll sell it for about 30 bucks, which is right around the same price range as a 1080 Pro here, and you get it home, and in reality, it's like a 256 megabyte drive, or maybe even a two or three gigabyte drive, and you don't know that there's a problem until you start getting write errors or overwrites and things like that, and that is because Windows asks the drive how much space it has, and it just takes for granted, like, hey, this is how much space I've got. In fact, as far as the drive knows, that's how much space it has, because that's what it's been programmed to have. When in reality, um, that simply isn't the case. So what H2 Test W is going to do is go ahead and write ones and zeros into every available cell on this drive. And we'll go ahead and run a time lapse here and see how things go. Alrighty, our tests are all finished up here and we didn't make it as far as I thought we would. Now, I did let this run for about 60 hours and we were able to fill up only 127 
gigabytes on this 1080 Pro SSD. And then I went to go ahead and verify that. And as you can see, it says media is likely defective. 127 gigabytes were okay. And we lost 51.4 gigabytes of data. So nothing was overwritten. It just was corrupted and that was the end of it. So there's the final word on the 1080 Pro SSD. It is definitely 110% a scam. It is not made by Samsung. It is not two terabytes, and it's more than likely a silicon power factory reject of some kind, if I were to guess. Anyway, that's going to be all for this time. Be sure to stay tuned as I have more videos on the way. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.